a very thrilling middle game in 2000's week on the Battle of the Decades, and I have to begin by wrapping my friend Russ on the knuckles. Uh, with one clue left in Double Jeopardy, he faced a daily double and should have gone for everything instead of just 5,000. Be in much better position right now. Uh, Tom is in third place. He's not going to play a factor, unfortunately. Larissa, just very, very impressive. I think I said WTF at least once, probably twice. Okay, let's look at these two. If Russ doubles up, he's going to have 30,800. So Larissa's going to have to wager 8,001 to cover him. If she gets it wrong, she's going to be left with uh, 14,800, 14,799. So Russ can wager uh, up to 600. You'll see that Tom can only get to 11,200. He's going to be out of it. Now we have mind games. If Larissa wants to play conservatively, if she thinks that Russ will do this, which I'm guessing he will based on past wagering, then she could just wager zero, or she could wager up to, looks like 6,800. Uh, 6,799, I should say. And if Russ is afraid of Larissa doing this, then he can wager everything. Okay, I haven't seen what happens yet. I'm excited to see who knows what about monarchs and who wagered what about monarchs. Back in a second. Tom got it wrong, wagered everything. Russ also got it wrong and wagered zero, which was his conservative wager. And Larissa got it wrong too, went for the lockout. Russ, congratulations. You are repping the class of 2004 well. Vanita Kolasinath is playing tomorrow. She's taking on Ken Jennings and Michael Falk. She has a chance to make it two for two for my Tournament of Champions class, and I can't wait. And Larissa, I said Suleiman too. <laughs> You're still my original crush. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow on the final wager.